Rohit Bogolagam is Sri Lanka's Minister of Industries, a member of Parliament, and he was sworn in as Minister of Industries on the 14th of December in 2001. With the recent ceasefire agreement, conditions in Sri Lanka changed for the better, and a peaceful atmosphere now prevails under the stewardship of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. In these circumstances, Minister Rohit Bogolagam was able to rapidly reactivate Sri Lanka's industrialization process. The minister's vision was to decentralize industrialization. After a lapse of nearly 20 years, programs were initiated in the north and east of the country. Minister Bogolagam visited Jaffna on the 12th of March last year along with local and foreign investors, bankers, and chairman of trade chambers, also industrialists, and a host of other officials. With this, he was able to activate traders and small and medium-scale industrialists in the northern province. Several local banks opened branches in the north subsequent to the minister's visit. The minister also visited Trincomalee in the east and met small and medium scale industrialists and traders there. An industrial forum was established in the east to familiarize industrialists there with the current global market trends. One of the major projects initiated by the minister is the Venkatesh Coke project in Trincomalee, where the harbor is soon to be the hub for international trade. The Venkatesh Coke Power Project is the largest single foreign investment to date, amounting to 600 million US dollars. The ministry's objectives are to promote industries in accordance with overall government policies to achieve a higher level of industrialization where technology and knowledge-based activities play a major role to create a new industrial culture where there is harmony between employers and employees and to create an entrepreneurial spirit that will encourage long-term investment. To link industries to local input sources through market-friendly subcontracting and thereby strengthen the small and medium entrepreneurs. To use the five economic zones for regional industrial development and geographical spread of industries. To link industries to reach overseas markets by promoting competitiveness via productivity enhancement, new technology, managerial and skills development. To encourage infant industries by providing a flow and a roof with other prerequisites under the industrial incubator program. Peace opens the way to progress for the people and economy of a country that was once a rich trading nation. Sri Lanka has always been in an ideal geographic position in the world. It is at the gateway between the West and the East, an entry point into the large growing Asian markets. The government's vision of having a strong and modern economy, driven by the private sector, has put emphasis on accelerating the development of infrastructure. Investors have all the incentives from a highly supportive government that is encouraging economic growth. Apart from its geographical location, Sri Lanka benefits investors with natural, man-made and human resources. The population of Sri Lanka is highly literate and would provide excellent local human resource at highly competitive rates. Through its comprehensive education system, the government is encouraging further development.
Its current airport and seaports are excellent facilities for logistical support with further development in the pipeline. Once again, we stand at the threshold of a new era of industrial progress and prosperity under the leadership of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. Sri Lanka's industrial revival began in the 1980s under the leadership of President J.R. Jayawardena, the founder of the principles of free economy. This process was advanced and spearheaded by Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe as the then Minister of Industries in 1991 with a white paper on modern industrialization. <laughs> Minister Rohit Bogalagama has now devised a progressive program programs such as Yuga Dakna and Dhirigama and is planning to broaden these programs and reach out to the entire Yuga Dakna is an international trade fair and exhibition designed to inform and educate local industrialists and update them with the current global trends. The first Yuga Dakna exhibition was held in the eastern town of Trinkamali. of services of Indian line of credit was inaugurated recently in Colombo by Nirupam Sen, High Commissioner for India. The Government of India has offered the Sri Lankan government a credit line of 100 million US dollars. The Ministry of Industries conducts seminars around the country to create an awareness within the small and medium scale industrialists. Dhirigamana is a program to promote regional industrialization by providing multifaceted industrial complexes and training centers. Today, under the leadership of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, the Ministry of Industries would guide the industrial sector to serve the ultimate needs of socio-economic development in Sri Lanka. Under this far-reaching rural industrial development program, the government has already commenced work on three such industrial complexes in Nikavaratiya and Galagamua in the Kurunagala district and Uvaparnagama in the Badulla district. High Commissioners Nirupam Sen of India and Stephen Evans of the United Kingdom were associated with the inauguration of these industrial complexes. Under the guidance of Minister Rohit Bogalagama, Sri Lanka has launched on an ambitious industrialization program during which 810 factories will be set up within the next five years. Mm -hmm. 